Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. In this video, I will bring to you the best multiple choice questions from the fourth week. Now, if you have been watching my videos, you know that the final week I divide it into two parts. So this video is from 22nd to 26th, that is 22nd, 23rd, 25th, 25th, uh, 5th and 26th, that is five days. And the next part will be, of course, the fourth week part two. This video is in English language for the people uh, from North East and South India who prefer to watch the video in English. Follow me on Facebook for uh, the best updates, uh, updates relating to all the exams so that you don't miss anything. Now, uh, important update, last three days for our annual sale and uh, all these pen drives are updated. Not only that, one bonus thing is that every week we will give two new videos for the pen drive users. They can download it from our website. Anybody can download those videos from our website, but only those who have the pen drive will be able to play because with the pen drive, we provide a dongle. So you have to insert the dongle and uh, then only you will be able to watch the videos and the tablet users can also watch the videos. So if you want to watch, uh, if you want to avail any pen drive last three days, sale 30%, call this number 9580048004. So without further delay, let me begin. Now, who has been honored as the business standard banker of the year for the year 2015-2016? Banker of the year by Business Standard Magazine. All of these four are the head of their respective banks. Usha Ananta Subramanian, she is the head of Punjab National Bank, the government bank, public sector bank. Aditya Puri is the head of or the chairman and managing director of HDFC Bank, which is a private bank. Arundhati Bhattacharya is the chairman of State Bank of India, again a public sector bank. Chanda Kochar Bank, private bank, ICICI Bank. So the, these four are extremely important people, all of these. But the answer to this question is Aditya Puri. He has been chosen as the banker of the year by standard business standard for the year 2015-16. Now, there are 24 life insurance companies operating in India. And I'm talking about the public sector and the private sector all. So in public sector, we have five companies. We have like LIC, like uh, United India Assurance, NIC, etc. Total number of companies which are there in India operating right now is 24, right? Out of the 24 life insurance companies in India, how many companies they were profitable in 2015-16 as per our Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, IRDAI, which is the insurance regulator, according to IRDAI, how many companies out of 24 were profitable? So the number was 19. Five companies were in loss. This shows that life insurance business is profitable. Now, uh, you know, 2.5% decrease was there, but in the overall profitability of the companies in the year 2015-16. But the premium increased uh, more than 7%. So the premium that the companies are paying has been more but overall the companies are profitable. Reliance Communications has sold its tower business. So you know that for communication, we need a lot of these big towers. So Reliance Communication has sold its complete tower business to a multinational company called Brookfield Infrastructure. For how much amount? This deal has been done for $1.6 billion. So if you convert it into rupees at the rate of $1 is equal to 67 rupees, then this is around 11,000 crore rupees. Sometimes in the answer, you will not have the, you know, you will not have the uh, answer in rupees, you will have in dollar. So remember 1.6 billion dollars. And this question can also come like, like Reliance Communication, they sold its tower business to which company? So the answer is Brookfield Infrastructure. Which mobile wallet, which mobile wallet platform has tied up, done a collaboration with Amul. Now Amul you know is our uh, dairy company. It's a cooperative. This is dairy actually. Indian dairy cooperative Amul. Amul is, uh, you know, it operates, its headquarter is in Anand. It's a company which took its origin from Anand, which is called the milk city of Gujarat. Milk city of India, it is in Gujarat. So Gujarat is like our milk state. And Amul has tied up with this mobile wallet platform, which means that you can go to Amul, uh, you know, shop and you can pay uh, using this wallet. So this is MobiQuick. MobiQuick. Now out of these four, you should know the founder of Paytm. 
Paytm has been making lot of losses and uh, do read uh, the article uh, about Paytm on the wire is a lovely article which shows how Paytm is making exceptional losses. So Paytm founder is Vijay Shekhar Sharma. Holkar Stadium. It is a stadium in India. It has been decided that the Holkar Stadium will conduct or will organize in this stadium the Ranji Trophy final will be played. It's a five Ranji Trophy, you know, it will be played for test matches and the final will be from January the 10th to January the 14th. So it will be a five day test match in the Holkar Stadium. It was decided recently. Now the question is Holkar Stadium is in which city of India? Holkar Stadium is in Indore in Madhya Pradesh. Who won the women's 50 meter rifle prone event at the 60th National Shooting Championship? 60th National Shooting Championship. Who won the event, the gold in the 50 meter rifle prone event? The name is Kuheli Ganguly. Remember this name, Kuheli Ganguly. Now, the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, has posted the video of his new housemate Jarvis. So basically Jarvis is a robot. It is based on artificial intelligence. Jarvis is a, like a robot uh, which is in the house of the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. Now you have to tell me, Jarvis, you know the robots, they make this typical sound. So Jarvis has been infused with the voice of a famous personality. That is, when this robot speaks, he speaks in the language or he speaks in the voice of which famous actor. It is the legendary actor and Oscar winning actor Morgan Freeman. So remember the name Jarvis. And in fact, you should check out this video. Mark Zuckerberg, uh, he had put it on his Facebook page. What is the name of Saif Ali Khan Kareena Kapoor's baby recently? And I deliberately included this question because there was a lot of contro controversy. Saif Ali Khan Kareena Kapoor baby because they uh, they named it him they named him Taimur Ali Khan Patodi. So a lot of people were saying that since Timur was a uh, you know he was uh, like a dictator who had killed a lot of Hindus. So it is not befitting to name uh, him after that. But uh, then it's their choice. So the answer is Taimur Ali Khan Patodi is the name of their baby. The world's first chat operating system has been launched by which company and this company it is a free instant messaging company it is like your whatsapp snapchat and all telegram so it's like a free instant messaging service company it has launched the world's first chat operating system just like you have windows operating system os so the name of this company is flock and the name of their operating system is flock os what is the name of the book that was launched recently by Rithik Roshan, the great actor Rithik Roshan. What is the name of the book launched by him for the blind, the visually impaired? And this book is in Braille. And it is published by White Print, India's first English lifestyle magazine and in Braille. So remember the name White Print. It is India's first English lifestyle magazine, which is in Braille for the visually impaired. So what is the name of the book? The name of the book is Tactabet. Tactabet. Who has been re-elected as the president of the All India Football Federation for the year for the term 2017 to 2020? So who has been um, re-elected? So previously also he was uh, he had been a president of uh, All India Football Federation. So his name is Praful Patel, and Praful Patel he is a politician from the NCP party. Now, the president of India, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee, has given his approval or his assent, his assent to declare Irular community, including the Vili and Vetaikaran in the scheduled tribe list. With this decision, which union territory in India has got its first scheduled tribe? Irular community has been given the status of a scheduled tribe and this particular union territory in India did not have any scheduled tribe. Now it has got one. What is the name? This irular community belongs to Puducherry. Puducherry. The chief minister is V. Narana Swami from the Congress party and the governor is Kiran Bedi. 
what is the name of the scheme that has been started to encourage the students to promote careers in biotechnology in the northeastern states so all the northeastern seven sisters as we call them meghalaya mizoram tripura and these states seven northeastern states there has been a scheme that has been started by the government and this scheme is to promote biotechnology so basically what will happen is there will be biotech labs which will be opened in the secondary schools in this country uh, in in the east, northeastern states and that is why this scheme is called bliss bliss means biotechnology labs uh, biotechnology labs in senior secondary schools in short bliss now there is a scheme which is called vittiya shak sharat abhiyan in short visaka and this scheme is basically to spread awareness about cashless economic system cashless economic system vittiya sakshrat abhiyan now you have to tell me which ministry has launched visaka scheme to spread awareness about cashless economy cashless system we we are heading towards a cashless economy this scheme started by hrd ministry that is ministry for human resource development and our union minister for hrd is mr prakash javadekar in 2018 women's hockey world cup will be held between july 7 to 21 15 day event fortnight in which city in 2018 hockey world cup women's hockey world cup will be played in which city and i am asking this question because there were recently some changes which were made to its format that is why it was in news it will be played in london now please note london is capital of england okay and england scotland and wales if i combine the three they are called britain britain has three countries england capital is london scotland capital is edinburgh and wales capital is cardiff these three are called britain and if i add northern ireland then it becomes united kingdom britain plus northern ireland becomes united kingdom so women's hockey world cup will be in london which bank has launched the aadhar linked cashless merchant solution aadhar pay and this bank has not done it alone it has done so in association with unique identification authority of india which in short is called uidai and the national payment corporation of india npci so which bank has launched this cashless merchant solution system called aadhar pay it is the idfc bank it is aadhar linked system idfc bank who has been conferred honorary doctorate see honorary doctorate means you can put doctor in front of your name it is like a honorary you know phd degree honorary doctorate so who was conferred with the honorary doctorate at the 6th convocation of the molana azad national urdu university so which of these famous personalities he was given the title of doctor by molana azad national urdu university for his contribution to promotion of urdu language and culture he is famous actor sharukh khan and this honor was bestowed upon him at the 6th convocation of the molana azad national urdu university which state government has recently launched nagar uday abhiyan which state government has recently launched nagar uday abhiyan on 6 in all 378 urban bodies so this basically nagar uday abhiyan means that the people who are from the lower echelons of the society the bottom of the pyramid the poor people they reside in slums and uh, residing in slums so they need to be given all the information regarding the public welfare schemes of the government and also uh, to provide them with the benefit of antyodaya yojana so that is why nagar udaya abhiyan was launched in madhya pradesh which has which has a bjp government and chief minister is shivraj singh chauhan please note nagar udaya abhiyan was launched so that the information regarding the public welfare schemes can be percolated to the villages to or to the people living in slums ministry of consumer affairs has launched an all india pan india digitally safe consumer campaign and this is basically uh, you know we are all going digital but even the digital has its own risks like cyber hacking like online fraud etc so the consumers need to be made aware of all these risks that is why they have launched digitally safe consumer campaign 
but this campaign will not be launched alone it will be launched in collaboration with a big company that company is google india's first second generation in short 2g so india's first second generation ethanol bio refinery is being established by hindustan petroleum corporation limited hindustan petroleum corporation limited is called hpcl in short so hpcl is establishing a uh, india's first second generation ethanol bio refinery at a cost of 600 crore rupees in which district in which district so this refinery will be set up in bhatinda in punjab and if they go further deep like which uh, place in uh, but in bhatinda then the village name is tarkhan wala tarkhan wala village in bhatinda punjab 25th december is christmas of course but 25th december is also the birth anniversary of the former prime minister of india shri atal bihari vajpayee who was also given the bharat ratna now uh, when modi government came in 2014 they decided that 25th december will be observed every year as, as which day so since atal bihari vajpayee was one of the paragons of good governance that is why 25th december his birthday is observed in india as good governance day good governance day and this is after uh, you know our former prime minister atal bihari vajpayee ji now two days before atal bihari vajpayee ji's birthday 23rd december another former prime minister of india chaudhry charan singh chaudhry charan singh was the fifth prime minister of india and he is the only prime minister of india who never faced the parliament because during his short tenure there was there were no sessions in the indian parliament so he is the only prime minister who has never seen the parliament during his tenure so 23rd december is his birthday just two days before the uh, you know birthday of atal bihari vajpayee his birthday is observed as which day so chaudhry charan singh was a popular kisan leader farmer leader so his birthday is observed as kisan divas which mean farmer day now chaudhry charan singh ji's son is ajit singh and right now he is active in politics especially in western up his party is called rashtriya lok dal lords the very very famous cricket ground lords cricket ground has released its top 20 players for 2016 so this is basically a list like a rating which has been given by the lords cricket ground all you have to tell is who has been ranked number one player in the lords cricket ground list this number one player is virat kohli according to the lords cricket ground list international cricket council has granted a stadium called Shaheed Vijay Singh Parthik Sports Stadium. And what is the grant they have given? This stadium will now be hosting international cricket matches. The approval has been given by ICC. All you have to tell is where is this stadium located? Very recent news, International Cricket Council has granted Shaheed Vijay Singh Parthik Sports Stadium for the conduct for approval for conducting international cricket matches this stadium is located in noida noida and this stadium is named after the great vijay singh parthik now please note that vijay singh parthik he was uh, you know he has done tremendous work for rajasthan he was the editor of two newspapers and they can ask this in exam they can ask this in exam one newspaper is rajasthan kesari and the second newspaper is Naveen Rajasthan these were the two newspapers he was the editor of and he did exceptional work for uniting Rajasthan which country was struck by a typhoon so which uh, country was struck by a typhoon and the speed of the typhoon was as high as 255 km per hour can you name which country was struck by this typhoon the name of the typhoon was Noc 10 but in the local language of the country, it is called a Nina Typhoon. So in the options they might give you, in the question they might give you the name Noctan also or Nina also. But the answer will remain the same. This typhoon hit Philippines. And Philippines, the capital is Manila. It's an Asian country. Manila is the same place where there is headquarter of Asian Development Bank. Chetan Ramarao. He died recently. He was related to which field? Chetan Ramarao has done more than 300 films in Kannada language. He was a great 
कन्नड फिल्म एक्टर सो द आंसर इज सिनेमा प्लीज नॉट दैट ही वॉज अ कन्नड एक्टर दे कैन आस्क इन एग्जाम विच लैंग्वेज फिल्म और विच स्टेट ही बिलोंग टू आंसर इज कर्नाटका सो ही वॉज सेवेंटी सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड ही डाइड बिकॉज ऑफ प्रोलॉन्ग्ड इलनेस इन मैसूरू साइंटिस्ट ऑफ विच कंट्री हैव डेवलप्ड द वेरी फर्स्ट फंक्शनल पेस मेकर सेल्स यूजिंग ह्यूमन स्टेम सेल्स सो स्टेम सेल्स आर द अनडिफरेंशिएटेड और अनस्पेशलाइज सेल्स विच कैन गिव राइज टू अ लॉट ऑफ सेल्स सो इफ वन सेल कैन गिव राइज टू द एंटायर ऑर्गेनिज्म इट इज कॉल्ड टोटी पोटेंसी एंड इफ वन सेल कैन गिव राइज टू ओनली अ ऑर्गन इट इज कॉल्ड प्लूरी पोटेंसी सो दीज आर सम कंसेप्ट इन यू नो यूर सेल कल्चर एंड ऑल नाउ साइंटिस्ट ऑफ विच कंट्री हैव डेवलप द वेरी फर्स्ट फंक्शनल पेस मेकर सेल पेस मेकर मीन्स एस ए नोड इट इज कॉल्ड साइनो एट्रियल नोड इट इज यू नो हार्ट इज लाइक दिस सो इट लाइज इन आवर राइट एट्रियम ऑल्सो कॉल्ड राइट ऑरिकल साइनो एट्रियल नोड एंड देन द कंडक्शन करंट पास इज फ्रॉम एस ए नोड टू ए वी नोड एंड देन टू परकिंजी फाइबर एंड माओफिब्रिल्स एंड ऑल दैट माओकार्डियम सो दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एस ए नोड इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द हार्ट विदाउट एस ए नोड इट इज नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल फॉर द हार्ट टू फंक्शन सो दैट इज वाई नाउ बट देर इज अ ब्रेक थ्रू दैट दीज फंक्शनल पेस मेकर सेल्स कैन बी डेवलप्ड यूजिंग द ह्यूमन स्टेम सेल दिस रिसर्च हैज बीन डन बाय कैनेडन कैनेडियन साइंटिस्ट कैनेडा द कैपिटल इज ओटावा एंड कैनेडा द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ कैनेडा इज द लिबरल पार्टी लीडर जस्ट इन ट्रूड्यू इंपॉर्टेंट द प्राइस ऑफ हाउ मेनी असेंशियल ड्रग्स असेंशियल ड्रग्स मीन्स दोज ड्रग्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड इन आवर डे टू डे लाइफ एंड विदाउट विच देर विल बी अ ग्रेटर चांस ऑफ मॉर्बिलिटी एंड मॉर्टेलिटी सो दोज आर कॉल्ड असेंशियल ड्रग्स सो द प्राइस ऑफ हाउ मेनी असेंशियल ड्रग्स हैव बीन रिड्यूज बाय द नेशनल फार्मास्यूटिकल प्राइसिंग अथॉरिटी सो दैट द पुअर पीपल कैन ऑल्सो अफोर्ड सच ड्रग्स एंड द ड्रग्स कैन हैव वाइडर रीच एंड द नेशनल फार्मास्यूटिकल प्राइसिंग अथॉरिटी कम्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ केमिकल्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर हाउ मेनी ड्रग्स आर दीज दीज आर फिफ्टी ड्रग्स फिफ्टी इंपॉर्टेंट असेंशियल ड्रग्स द प्राइस हैव बीन रिड्यूज सो दैट द पुअर पीपल कैन ऑल्सो बाय वन मोर थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू हेयर दैट यू नो देर देर इज अ स्कीम बाय द गवर्नमेंट वेर दे हैव ओपन मेडिसिन शॉप्स इन द कंट्री वेर यू कैन बाय चीप मेडिसिन ओके वन स्कीम इज कॉल्ड अमृत एंड वन इज कॉल्ड जन औषधि दीज आर द टू स्कीम्स जन औषधि द फर्स्ट स्टोर वॉज ओपन इन द सिविल हॉस्पिटल इन अमृतसर अमृत फर्स्ट अमृत आउटलेट वॉज ओपन इन एम्स न्यू दिल्ली दैट इज द डिफरेंस एंड दीज टू स्कीम्स आर बाय डिफरेंट मिनिस्ट्रीज Our insurance regulator IRDAI has approved the application of how many global reinsurer give emphasis on the word re so it has approved how many global reinsurers and granted certificate of registration to them to open the shops in India how many uh, global companies can do the reinsuring business in India as per the IRDAI how many companies are given the approval the number of these companies are फाइव विच फाइव कंपनीज यू डोंट नीड टू नो जस्ट रिमेंबर द नंबर इज फाइव इकरा विच इज आवर इंडिया जोन इंडिजिनस क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी इट हैज फॉरकास्टेड इंडिया ग्रॉस वैल्यू एडेड दैट इज जी वी ए ग्रोथ टू बी एट वट परसेंट इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवनटीन लॉट ऑफ दीज क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी दे आर रिव्यू इन देयर जी डी पी एंड जी वी ए फॉरकास्ट बिकॉज ऑफ डी मोनिटाइजेशन सो द टॉप थ्री क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसीज इन द वर्ल्ड you know standard and poor fitch and moody's they all belong to united states of america icra has forecasted india's growth at 6.6% that is the gva growth not the, not the gdp growth 6.6% what is the rank of new delhi in the most well read city in india most well read means most aware about the issues and everything so most well read city in india is in fact new delhi and this was a survey conducted by amazon india so the rank of new delhi in this survey was rank 1 number 2 was bengaluru and number 3 was mumbai our central government it has signed an agreement for new railway projects worth rupees 45000 crore with which state in which state uh, projects worth 45000 crore rupees will be built uh, you know by railway to boost the railway infrastructure in this particular state only this is maharashtra which has a coalition government of bjp and shiv sena and the chief minister is devendra fadnavis for which scheme the center has decided to reduce the sanctioning time that
that is if you want to get the approval for this scheme then every year there was approval but now the center has decided that for the next three years there will be only one single approval so that you know so that the timetable can be uh, prompted it can be hastened and uh, there is no clearance delay there is no excessive red tape so there will be only one approval which will be needed rather than annual sanctioning there will be only one sanctioning now for the next three years what is the name of this scheme this scheme is called amrut what is amrut amrut means atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation that is you have to completely revamp and redesign your already made cities uh, and that is called amrut scheme urban mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation but amrit as i said is different amrit means that you know medicine shops will be open across the country that is amrit scheme so you should know the uh, you know the full form of amrit also amrit means affordable medicines and reliable implants for treatment and uday and udan you know uday is the power distribution companies the ujjwal discom assurance yojana and udan is uday desh kaam nagrik twitter seva twitter seva means you it's like a customer service seva means service on twitter so you make the full use of twitter to uh, you know for the grievances redressal that is if there are customer complaints etc you try to resolve those complaints on twitter so it is a customer service resolution platform it was recently launched by which ministry in india so the full use of twitter called twitter seva was made by the ministry of external affair and our external affair minister sushma swaraj she recently underwent kidney transplant dinanath bhargav died recently he was related to which field now this is an extremely important question very very important and why important is because dinanath bhargav was among one of the guys who had you know sketched he who had sketched the national emblem our national emblem is the ashok chakra so he was one of uh, the guys who actually sketched the national emblem he was that big an artist so the answer is artist he was 89 years old and he suffered from heart attack the consumer affairs minister mr ram vilas paswan he has recently launched which mobile app but not only mobile app he has also launched something called online consumer mediation center ocmc in short the purpose of ocmc is because uh, ocmc is again if there are any consumer complaints consumer grievances then they need to be redressed they need to be addressed they need to be customers need to be uh, you know there has to be a two way communication and for that there is a mobile app that has been launched what is the name of that mobile app that has been launched by the consumer affair minister ram vilas paswan the he has kept the name of the app as smart consumer do you know the difference between consumer and customer see customer is the one who actually buys the product and consumer is the one who you know who consumes the product so what is the difference difference is sometimes the person who buys the product may not be the person who uses the product for example if i am buying a diaper for my child okay so i am buying that means i am the customer but diaper i am not using my child is using so he is the consumer but sometimes they can be same like if i am buying a chocolate i am the customer and i am the i am the one who will eat it so i am the consumer also that is the difference between consumer and customer when do we observe the national consumer day and national consumer day is basically to you know uh, there are a lot of consumers so they need to be made aware about their rights and about the unfair practices or how they can prevent themselves from being looted by others that is spread awareness basically about the unfair practices that uh, operate in this ecosystem so national consumer day lies between kisan divas kisan divas is 23rd and good governance day is 25th so it lies in between so it is december the 24 nabard which is our agriculture bank for rural development now please note nabard was established in 1982 and look what a coincidence nabard is spending 1982 crore rupees okay maybe it's uh, deliberate to commemorate the year in which they were uh, you know the year of inception so the um, the outlay for the project is 1982 crore and you know it is funding a multi purpose polavaram irrigation project 
This 1982 crore rupees is to fund the Polavaram irrigation project. This project is being built in which state of India? It is being built in Andhra Pradesh. The capital of Andhra Pradesh is Amravati. Chief Minister is Chandrababu Naidu of the Telugu Desam Party. Which country is airspace regulator? General Directorate for Civil Aviation has approved the plan to launch drone delivery program making it the world's first national postal service to use the drones regularly. So basically drones are unmanned uh, gadgets that uh, can travel from one place to another. They can fly like aeroplanes etc. And they can do uh, delivery in short distances. Now drones are being used, drones will be used to deliver the post. That is your letters, envelopes etc. So this advance uh, thing has been recently started in France. France is the first country to have drones delivering the courier etc. And uh, you know the national postal service, the government's postal service department is using it. Which writer and poet was awarded the 25th Bihari Puraskar 2015 by the KK Birla Foundation and this was award was given to him for his poetry collection Katha Soon Ave Hai Shabad. Please remember the name of this book if you can. The name of the book is Katha Soon Ave Hai Shabad. So they can very well ask this question who wrote this book which was in news recently. This book was in news because its author or poet has won the 25th Bihari Puraskar the name is Bhagwati Lal Vyas who wrote this book. Which Sikh from Nankana Sahib in Lahore has become, you know, the first Sikh has become the first Sikh to secure a place at Pakistan's National Cricket Academy. Can you imagine a Sikh player playing for Pakistan? Well, you better do now because he has been given a place in the top 30 emerging cricketers of Pakistan. So very soon we might see Mahinder Pal Singh playing for Pakistan. He will become the first Sikh to play for Pakistan and he is already the first Sikh to secure a place at the Pakistan National Cricket Academy. Which state cabinet has passed the resolution to include 17 sub -cast of the other backward caste into the scheduled caste category? So this decision is taken regarding uh, gaining the election mileage because elections are coming in this state and that is why they are doing these things. Now they what they have done is they have converted 17 OBCs into 17 SCs. That is the 17 sub -cast of the OBCs. They have given them the scheduled caste category status that is excess reservation. This has been done by Akhilesh Yadav or Uttar Pradesh. Biju Shishu Suraksha Yojana for care and protection of HIV positive orphan children. Orphan means those who don't have parents or those who you know are without uh, any guardian. So these children to prevent them from getting HIV positive infection or AIDS. Uh, there is a campaign that has been launched which is called Biju Shishu Suraksha Yojana. Shishu Suraksha Yojana mean protection of infant scheme. Biju was the name of the father and father of Navin Patnaik who is the chief minister of this state. The answer is Odisha and Biju was also the founder of the party Biju Janta Dal which is the ruling party in Odisha. India beat which country, which country's team 3-0 to win bronze medal at the 4th Women's Under-18 Asia Cup 2016. It is a hockey tournament which was organized in the capital of Thailand which is Bangkok. So Indian team, India beat uh, which team 3-0 to win the bronze medal? India beat South Korea. The capital of South Korea is Seoul. And India previously had lost to Japan in their match. That is why India got out in the semi-final. So the two losing team of semi-final, they played each other to decide who backed the third position. And recently there was a question in the exam. In which country do we have this place? Incheon. So Incheon is also in South Korea. It's a famous country. Lot of big brands are there. Hyundai and LG, Samsung. They are all from South Korea. North Korea, the capital is Pyongyang. Completely different countries. Pyongyang. Which businessman has been voted out from all the three Tata Group companies? He was an independent director in. So this particular businessman, he, he was an independent director in three Tata companies. Tata Steel, Tata Motor and Tata Chemical. All the three big companies. 
but he was voted out. He was sacked as the independent director. His name is Nasli Wadia. He is the, he, uh, one of the founders of uh, Wadia Group. His son is Nes Wadia. And uh, Cyrus Mistri has already been ousted as the chairman of Tata Sons Tata Group. And Cyrus Mistri, along with Shapur Mistri, his brother, and Palonji Mistri, his father, owns 18% stake in Tata Sons. So Cyrus Mistri, there is a lot of mud slinging going on, a uh, lot of accusations going on from both sides. So let's see what will be the effect of the, all this. The Election Commission of India, ECI, Election Commission of India has said that a number of political parties, okay, you have to tell me what is the number. So a great number of political parties will be eliminated from next elections. Why? Because these parties may be involved in money laundering or they are inactive. They have just registered their name and they have not taken any action. They are not active. So that is why how many political parties will be eliminated from next elections according to Election Commission of India. The number is 200. Mamata Yojana. Mamata Yojana, it is a scheme to provide monetary compensation, monetary support to the pregnant woman, to the lactating woman. It has been launched in which state of India? So please don't think that Mamata Yojana is kept after after. Mamta Banerjee and therefore it should be West Bengal. That is why here I have kept the first option West Bengal. So that you think that Mamta Yojana is West Bengal. No. Mamta, Yo Mamta means your motherly love. Okay. So Mamta Yojana has been started in Odisha by Navin Patnaik, the chief minister. Which Indian paramilitary force? All of these, by the way, are paramilitary force. Assam Rifle also, indo tibetan Border Police Force. Sashatra Seema Bal and Central Reserve Police Force which is the CRPF. Apart from this, there are, there are others also like there is NSG, there is CISF, Central Industrial Security Force, etc. So which Indian force has launched a drive to procure local varieties of tough mules, dogs, ponies, yak to carry the supplies for the troops at Snow Hit Post. So this particular paramilitary force usually operates at very high altitudes and it is called Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force. It has come up with a different idea that there are a lo lot of local animals that are there on the higher altitudes like the mules and dogs and ponies, yak. So they will employ these, uh, they will use these uh, animals to carry the uh, carry the things, you know, at high altitudes. And Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force, it guards almost our 3500 kilometer area. That is... Uh, you know the area from Ladakh to Arunachal Pradesh and that is why it is very very important uh, and this 3500 kilometer area is guarded by Indo-Tibetan force it is uh, from Ladakh to and Ladakh which area you do you know it is the Karakoram Pass in Ladakh to Arunachal Pradesh the area is called Jachepla Jachepla in Arunachal Pradesh this much area is guarded by ITVP Pandit Madan Mohan Malviyan Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya was the founder of Banaras Hindu University. He was also given Bharat Ratna along with Atal Bihari Vajpayee. So Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya Cancer Center and 150 bed hospital which is called ESIC Super Specialty Hospital. These two uh, places were inaugurated recently by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi in which city? These two places are being set up in the same place from where Narendra Modi has uh, won the Lok Sabha election from. It is Varanasi, his constituency. According to the Global Wage Report, wage is mean salary. Global Wage Report 2016-2017, which it was released recently by which organization? That is the question. So this report was released by International Labour Organization. And let me tell you something that in India, the difference between male and female is huge. That is the gender gap, especially in terms of salary and wages. It is huge. So, for example, this report said that men earn 33% as high. You know, they may earn as high as 33% more than females per hour. So, that is, the, that is how big the gender gap index is. This was written in the Global Wages Report, which was by International Labour Organization. Which country recently inaugurated the world's first solar panel road? World's first solar panel road. And this is like a pilot project. Pilot project means when you apply a scheme in a small area so that later on it can be extrapolated to a larger area if it becomes successful. 
any scheme you should not start on a very big scale unless you are very sure that this scheme will be successful so this country has built only one kilometer solar panel road but it is a pilot project and it has become the world's first country to do so but if this becomes successful then the entire country will have such solar panel roads this experiment is done by france again question on amul so gujarat based indian dairy cooperative company amul will set up its 200 crore rupees plant which is the centralized milk processing unit plant at which place in west bengal centralized milk processing plant it will be in howda howda which bank has launched a mobile app called easy pay and as the name says easy pay just easy digital transaction cashless transaction and this easy pay app can employ various methods like it can serve as digital wallet you know upi unified payment interface qr code you can scan qr code just like you do in paytm or you can use it as uh, in as you know like plastic money credit and debit card all the modes of payment are possible with this app it is called easy pay it has been launched by which bank so it has been launched by the icici bank the largest private bank in india which poet which poet has been nominated for the 52nd gyan pit awards for 2016 again an important question which poet has been nominated for the 52nd gyan pit award his name is shankar ghosh and he writes in bengali language which indian player has been made the brand ambassador of honey company it manufactures honey uh, the name of the company is apis india so who has become the brand ambassador of apis india her name is pv sindhu olympic silver medalist in badminton and also she was recently given the award as the best improved player most improved player the next question is very very important look at the name of these four players one is debora herold one is kazia vargis then you have p sanu raj and amarjit singh negi they are all associated with which sport now if you recall that debora herold she was uh, you know she was into the top 10 players in this particular sport in fact she was ranked as high as uh, you know fourth in the world and that is why she was in news and she these four players are into a sport which is not very popular in india and that is why this question becomes tough all of these four players are associated with cycling now debora herold she is an inspiration for all because she survived tsunami and uh, then she qualified for olympics in cycling and also she is from andaman and nicobar she is the best known cyclist in india kazia vargis she uh, was beaten by debora herold in the national cycling championship recently and kazia vargis is from kerala p sanu raj and amarjit singh both are male cyclists and they are also very good p sanu raj uh, he surprised national champion amarjit singh negi amarjit singh negi uh, cycles for railways and p sanu raj cycles for services so these are all for from cycling what is the name of the lg lieutenant governor of delhi who gave his resignation to the government of india now this came as a surprise even to the chief minister arvind kejriwal who would have uh, taken a huge sigh of relief because uh, he you know almost every day he used to allege that uh, uh, it is the center uh, who has put this guy to interfere with the uh you know ongoing procedures of the aam aadmi party day to day procedures his name is najib jang he still had about uh, one and a half years remaining in his tenure which was due to expire his tenure uh, was due to end in 2018 but then he resigned citing personal reasons najib jang now other options are also good c vidya sagar rao is governor of maharashtra kaptan singh solanki uh, is governor of haryana previously if you remember kaptan singh solanki was the governor of both haryana and punjab but now he is exclusive governor of haryana because punjab ha, uh, made their new governor vp singh badnor so vp singh badnor is from punjab which cities police in telangana have set a new world record by conducting the largest self defense class at a single venue that had more than 21000 girls uh, you know and working women taking part so this is an important question uh, this world record was created by the police of warangal 
All of these four districts are in Telangana. Adilabad, Hyderabad, which is the capital, Varangal and Karimnagar. But Varangal police conducted a class, a self-defense exercise for women, which had more than 21,000 women at one place. So this is a new world record. Which company has bought Brahmani River Pellets Limited from Aryan Mining and Trading Corporation Private Limited, which is called AMTC. So BRPL or Brahmani River Pellets is a company under AMTC and it has been bought 100% by which company? So the name of the company is Tata Steel, which itself is in very heavy losses. Tata Steel, because they had acquired Chorus Steel in Europe, which was not a profitable decision at all. In fact, out of 100 plus companies of Tata, only two companies are profitable. Which country's researchers have found that the stem cells that are harvested from the pregnant woman's amniotic fluid can be used to strengthen the weak bones? And this in women is a very big issue, the weak bones. So during menopause also and during growth also, women suffer from weak bones. So that is called osteoporosis. One of the reasons for weak bones is osteoporosis. Of course, there are other reasons also like calcium deficiency and others. We will not go into technical details. So which country scientists have found that the stem cells harvested from pregnant women's amniotic fluid? Amniotic fluid is very, very important. In fact, uh, when we study the amniotic fluid, it is called amniocentesis. But there is a problem associated with that. It can reveal the, uh, the gender of the child, whether it is male or female. And therefore, amniocentesis is banned. And the stem cells, these are the progenitor cells, the undifferentiated cells. So uh, these cells can give rise to a lot of other cells. And this research has been done by UK scientists that the stem cells can be used to strengthen weak bones. What is the name of the website or web portal that has been launched by our cabinet minister Piyush Goyal? Now Piyush Goyal is uh, our cabinet minister for power, okay, for coal, for um, you know new and renewable energy also for mines so that is the portfolio of uh, Piyush Goyal and he's a uh, he is from he has been educated at Harvard so what is the name of the web portal launched recently by cabinet minister Piyush Goyal that is aimed at optimum utilization of coal by private as well as public uh, power companies the name of this web portal is Coal Mitra Coal Mitra which country's space agency, like we have ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization headquartered in Bengaluru. Similarly, many countries have their own space agencies. So which country's space agency successfully launched a solid fuel rocket, which is called Epsilon 2, and they launched it from the Yuchi Naura Space Center. So good question. It was launched by JAXA. And if you remember, JAXA is the space agency of Japan. Japan capital is Tokyo and currency is yen. Now, JAXA is Japan uh, Aerospace Exploration Agency and it's very, very important. So, that what was the name of the rocket? It is Epsilon 2. Which country topped in the FIFA's team of the year? That is FIFA's team of 2016 year title, uh, you know, and India finished at 135. So, that means that Indian football team right now is 135th in the world, which is very good uh, if we see India because uh, in the last 6-7 years, our best ranking before this was uh, way back, 6 years back, which was 134. So this shows that football is back on track in India. And which country top? Which country is the number one football team in the world right now? So it is Argentina. Argentina, special player plays for Argentina, Messi. Which state government launched health insurance scheme called Atal Amrit Abhyan? that will provide coverage against various severe diseases. Now look at this. This scheme has been launched by a state. Okay. And state government will never, if it is a Congress government, it will never name it after Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji. It will name it after Indra ji or Rajiv ji, but not Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji. And that is why all the four options I have given BJP states to make it tough for you. So please remember that when I make current affairs questions, there is, you know, a complete different level. Now, had I given three Congress states and one BJP, it would have been easy for you to guess. Atal Amrit means some BJP state might have done it. But all these four are BJP ruled states. So I keep a lot of factors when preparing MCQs in, you know, in mind. Anyways, Atal Amrit Abhyan is basically a health insurance scheme that will provide coverage against various diseases. So it has been launched by the Assam government. Assam, which for the first time in their history had a, um, you know, BJP government 
and the chief minister is Sarbananda Sonowal. Capital is this poor. The registration fee for Hindus and other minority community people from which neighboring country or countries to register as Indian citizen has been changed to only rupees 100 from 15,000 rupees. So basically, if you are in, if you were in this country, if you are a Hindu and if you, you know, wish to uh, register as Indian citizen, there was a certain uh, certain fee that you had to pay, which was 15,000 rupees. But now you only have to pay rupees 100. So in which country, for the Hindus of which country this has been done? Please note that most of the Indian, most of the countries which are our neighboring countries have Hindu minority, except Nepal. Nepal is a Hindu country. But apart from that, most countries have Hindu minority. So this thing has been done in all of the above. That is for Hindus in Bangladesh, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Which state government has launched a rupees 120 crore new malaria control program? So this is to control malaria. And you know that malaria is caused by the bite of female anopheles. This uh, great research was done by Dr. Ronald Ross, who was awarded the Nobel Prize for the same. So, which state government has launched? Now, the outlay for this particular program is Rs. 120 crore. And the program will be called Daman. The full form of Daman is Durgam Anchalar Malaria Nirakaran. So, the answer is Odisha. And I am assuming this is Odia language. So, the answer is Odisha, it, which has a BJD government, Biju Janta Dal and Chief Minister is Naveen Patnaik. Which state government has named its rupees 7600 crore project, which is a mega lift irrigation scheme? They have named it after the great freedom fighter Shri Parvati Giri. Which state has done it? So, again, the answer to this is Odisha. So, you can see Odisha is the answer to a lot of questions this week. Lot has been happening in Odisha. Parvati Giri was a great, great freedom fighter, and Navin Patnaik has named his mega lift irrigation scheme estimated to cost rupees 7600 crore which is more than 1.1 billion dollars which country has passed a new law that will put environment tax on polluters especially on heavy industries and this country has been plagued with a lot of pollution is in trouble uh, and there was there was a lot of pressure uh, there is international pressure also because this country is also a signatory to cop 21 paris agreement and it is one of the greatest polluters largest polluters in the world so the answer to this is China. China will put environment tax on polluters and lot of Chinese cities are reeling under heavy pollution like Shanghai, like Beijing, etc. Who became the third Indian player? He has become only the third Indian player to win the prestigious Sir Garfield Sobers Trophy, which is given to the world cricketer of the year. That is the best performing cricketer of the year, also called world cricketer of the year. This trophy is awarded to that player and he has become only the third Indian player to win this trophy. He has performed exceptionally well both with bat and ball. His name is Ravi Chandra Ashwin. Ravi Chandra Ashwin. And before this, only two cricketers had won this trophy. Rahul Dravid and Sachin Tendulkar. So Rahul Dravid had won it in 2004 and Sachin Tendulkar is 2010. And overall, he has become 12th player to win Sir Garfield Sobers trophy. Reserve Bank of India has put a penalty, a fine, on how many foreign banks because they were violating FEMA. FEMA is Foreign Exchange Management Act. They were flouting rules. They were not following the proper rules. As a result, RBI has put penalty on how many banks. Now, you need not know the name of banks. I'll quickly uh, say uh, nonetheless. Standard Chartered Bank, Bank of America, Bank of Tokyo, Royal Bank of Scotland, all of them have been fined. Uh, so, 10,000 rupees only. That is, uh, and Deutsche Bank was fined rupees 20,000. Deutsche Bank, the German bank. So the answer is five. Total five banks have been uh, penalized by RBI. Pratikar 1. It is the first ever joint military exercise between which two countries? Pratikar 1. And uh, these two countries are Nepal and China. And this will be in somewhere in February. Um, in, in fact, it will, be, it will start from February the 10th, 2017. Nepal, uh, the Prime Minister is Pushpa Kumar Dehel, also called Prachand. And China President is Xi Jinping, Chinese Premier. Argentina has signed an agreement with which country to identify the bodies of more than 100 unknown Argentinian soldiers buried on the Falkland, um, Falkland Islands after the 1982 war. So Argentina, which is a Latin American country, South American country, the capital is Buenos Aires. It has signed an agreement with Britain. 
बिकॉज फॉल्कलैंड फॉल्कलैंड आईलैंड आर अंडर ब्रिटेन सो दैट इज वाई दे हैव साइन एन एग्रीमेंट विद ब्रिटेन एंड एज आई सेट ब्रिटेन मीन्स स्कॉटलैंड प्लस इंग्लैंड प्लस वेल्स कैपिटल ऑफ स्कॉटलैंड इज एडिनबर्ग इंग्लैंड इज लंडन एंड वेल्स इज कार्डिफ सी बी एस ई सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन हैज मेड बोर्ड एग्जाम्स फॉर क्लास टेन अगेन कंपल्सरी सो यू नो दैट बिफोर टू थाउजेंड एंड इलेवन द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स वर कंपल्सरी एवरीबडी हैड टू टेक इट बट देर वॉज लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन सी बी एस ई बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वर नॉट एबल टू हैंडल द स्ट्रेस सम इवन कमिटेड सुसाइड एंड देयर फॉर सी बी एस ई मेड इट ऑप्शनल दैट इज यू कैन ऑप्ट फॉर बोर्ड ऑल्सो और यू कैन सिंपली ऑप्ट फॉर द स्टेट द स्कूल स्टेट बोर्ड uh so that there was this option provided but now again cbi has sc has decided that from 2018 that is the students who will write the exams at the end of 2017 18 session so the answer is 2017 18 these students will be forced to take the board's exam which state's chief minister has announced to form a separate ministry for obcs and he not only that he has also said that uh, you know Uh, you know this uh, separate ministry which will be a ministry for obc will be headed by an independent minister who will take charge of this ministry only so there will be a dedicated ministry for obcs this announcement was made by maharashtra chief minister devendra fadnavis and uh, he was attending a particular festival which is called the kunbi mahotsav it is a art festival which was in thane so they can ask in which state kunbi mahotsav or kunbi festival was celebrated or was observed the answer is thane in maharashtra to promote cashless transactions which state government has issued petro cards so basically petro cards have been issued for the drivers who are employed with the state government that is the in uh, public sector jobs and they can now use petro cards to make cashless payments to um, you know fuel up their cars at the indian oil corporation or bharat petroleum petrol pumps this decision has been taken by haryana government haryana which has a bjp government chief minister is manohar lal khattar national green tribunal ngt has directed the aviation regulator which is dgca director general of civil aviation to issue instructions to all the airlines whose aircraft empties toilet tanks on air to pay how much amount as environmental compensation so this is a good step uh, see national green tribunal has told airlines now when you go to toilets in airlines uh, there are a lot of airlines which empty those toilet tanks you know in air itself when they are uh, in flight therefore this pollutes the environment and uh, they have, these airlines have also been told that near the airports you are not supposed to empty as it can pollute the airport ecosystem and you have to pay a fine or a environment compensation of rupees 50000 so those airlines which empty the toilet tanks on air they have to pay 50000 rupees as compensation now the 2016 shastra ramanujan award for mathematics was presented to which mathematician or mathematicians at the inauguration of the international conference on number theory at shastra university at kumbakonam brilliant question and a lot of questions can come from this one question itself and i'll tell you why see ramanujan is one of the greatest scientists ever you know in history not just in india global so ramanujan uh, well his birthday is on 22nd of december which is a very very important question because it is celebrated as national mathematics day such was his genius that his birthday is observed as national mathematics day now ramanujan uh, and there is a number which is called 1729 so 1729 number is called hardy ramanujan number hardy was also a great mathematician and a friend of ramanujan now i urge you to read a novel which i had read i think 5 years back which is called the man who knew infinity good news is if you don't want to read the entire novel now there is a movie which came earlier this year which was based on the life of ramanujan it was a brilliant brilliant novel the man who knew infinity so ramanujan was born in kumbakonam which was his hometown and kumbakonam is in tamil nadu in the district of thanjavur thanjavur okay and based on his genius there is an award called the sastra ramanujan award which is given to two mathematicians one is maxim radziwill and second is kaisa matomaki so the answer is both a and b kaisa matomaki is from university of turku finland whereas uh, maxa radziwill is from mcgill university canada a global carbon dioxide monitoring satellite has been launched which is called tensat so the name of the satellite which will monitor carbon dioxide co2 is tensat 
it has been launched by which country to monitor the carbon emissions and help in reversing the climate change it has been uh, launched by china china which uh, wants to monitor the carbon dioxide emissions who has won the 2016 sahitya academy award for her hindu novel parijat parijat is name of a tree parijat is name of a tree so uh, who has won the sahitya academy award please note that there are 22 scheduled languages or official languages in our constitution which are mentioned in the constitution but sahitya academy award is not given for 22 languages it is given for 24 languages so which are the two extra languages which are not mentioned uh, in our constitution one is english and other is rajasthani so for english and rajasthani also sahitya academy award is bestowed and this time this award was given to nasira sharma famous famous author nasira sharma and the book name is parijat the central government has launched a toll free number which is 10588 and this number has been launched to provide relevant information to whom to provide information spread awareness to whom is it widows of soldiers traffic women female child labor or pregnant women so this has been done for pregnant and lactating women if they need any information they can dial this toll free number and get all the information that they need it is often advisable that pregnant or lactating women they should breastfeed their child for at least 6 months now the center has approved a draft ordinance to amend the payment of wages act 1936 what is an ordinance ordinance is issued by the ruling government when the when the parliament is not in session but there is a rule that the ordinance must has to be ratified again by the same procedure as of any other uh, bill when the parliament again comes into picture or when it again is in session otherwise it will be rendered invalid so the center passed an ordinance and this is basically to promote cashless transactions how now workers who are earning up to what amount can be paid cashless by their bosses without even asking them so up to what wages you know the workers can be paid by check that is again cashless or by direct credit into bank account without their consent without their explicit consent uh, so this amount has been kept at 18000 rupees 18000 who has been appointed as the new chief secretary of tamil nadu replacing p rama mohan rao so p rama mohan rao was the outgoing chief secretary and the new is senior is officer girija vaidyanathan which minister has launched google map toilet locator to help people find access to clean public restrooms in new delhi so for example if you want to relieve yourself uh, you are feeling urgency to relieve yourself you can search now toilets on google map and this decision has been taken by the ministry of information and broadcasting and our information and broadcasting minister is mr venkaiya naidu so he has launched google map toilet locator surender prasad tarun passed away recently he belong to which field he was related to which field so surender prasad tarun uh, is former bihar minister and veteran congress leader so he was from polity he was from polity field he was a mla uh, minister in the bihar government George Michael this is probably the easiest question that i can ask you especially if you are a music fan George Michael passed away recently he was one of the greatest musicians of all time greatest singers of all time so the answer is singing he was from uk which tennis player indian tennis player won the itf hong kong f4 futures title itf hong kong f4 future title was won by yuki bhamri all of these four are important tennis players of india so do mug up their names who was appointed as the first female director of vatican museum by pope francis pope francis who sits at saint basilia church in rome um, so who was appointed as the first female director of vatican museum by pope francis vatican uh, is very small though it's a country saint basilia church is in fact in vatican uh, so uh, vatican city is very very important because it's a country it is also called world's smallest country and pope francis is the first pope from south america he is from argentina so so he has appointed first female director ever in the history of vatican museum dr barbara jatta who has bagged the top position 
in the 2016 Forbes Indian Celebrity 100 list which was released by Forbes and this particular star or rather superstar I should say earned more than 270 crore rupees in the financial year. What is his name? His name is Salman Khan. He, he was number one in the celebrity list. Very very important. Which missile? It is a nuclear capable missile. It is a surface to surface missile and it is an intercontinental ballistic missile. So no wonder it is giving sleepless nights to China. It was successfully test fired by India from Dr. Abdul Kalam Island. Please note that Dr. Abdul Kalam Island is in Odisha and it was previously called Wheeler Island. This is again a very important question. This uh, missile is Agni the 5th. Now it is ready for launch. Now it is inducted into the Indian military and uh, Agni 5 its range is between 5000 to 8000 kilometers. Kuchipudi. Kuchipudi is the state dance of which state? And basically why I'm asking you this question is because this dance made a Guinness World Record because more than 6000 people did this dance at one place at one time at the IGMC stadium which is in Vijayawada. So Vijayawada, uh, it's a giveaway. The answer is Andhra Pradesh. Which bank launched a scheme which is called Bank Sakhi? Sakhi means your friend, female friend. So which bank has launched a scheme called Bank Sakhi for empowering women? Because these women will be employed and they will be given employment and the job of the women will be to promote cashless transactions. This decision has been taken by Karnataka Vikas Grameen Bank. Can you tell me the headquarter of Karnataka Vikas Grameen Bank? Where is the headquarter? So if you, if you know, write it in comments. There was a Russian plane which is called 2154. There were 92 people on board. Not even one survived. It crashed into which sea? And it was going to Syria. So it uh, crashed immediately after taking off. It crashed in the Black Sea. Black Sea. Second question for you today. Can you tell me which teams, which football teams airplane crashed recently? It was a Brazilian football club. Can you tell me the name of that football club? Which film personality elected to Rajya Sabha by Trinamool Congress resigned from Rajya Sabha because of health problems? In fact, before this announcement came, I didn't even know that he was a Rajya Sabha MP. That's, that's how insignificant some of these celebrities are because of their poor attendance in the house. So, uh, then his name is Mithun Chakravarti, who is, who is a legendary actor and he was elected to Rajya Sabha by Trinamool Congress. Which sport has been de-recognized as a sport? by the sport ministry just 15 months after it was declared as a sport not only that we do celebrate yoga day also so the answer is yoga so basically what has happened is yoga is so broad you know the the spectrum of yoga is so broad that it encapsulates so many things that it is very difficult to organize championships and competitions so that is why uh, sports ministry said yoga is not a sport it cannot be called a sport which Government bank, public sector bank has merged its wholly owned subsidiary all bank finance with itself. This means that ABFL will not longer will no longer exist because it is merged into the parent bank. That bank is the Allahabad Bank. Allahabad Bank has merged its own uh, subsidiary all bank finance. Who won his third gold in the Asian Luge Championship, which was held in Nagano, Japan? He is the only professional luge player from India. He is the in the country of 1.25 billion people we have only one professional who plays luge. So who is a professional luge player from India? His name is Shiva Keshwan. Super important question and they might also as well ask in exam Shiva Keshwan is associated with which sport? India beat Sri Lanka recently to win the under 19 Asia Cup title at the Premadasa Stadium who was the coach of this Indian team? This was a cricket tournament. Under 19 Asia Cup, it was won by India and India's coach was Wall of India, Rahul Dravid. Pierre Sellers died recently. He was related to which field? Now, he was a climate scientist also, but his rise to fame was astronaut. He was an astronaut and he was again from Britain. He was an astronaut. Prime Minister Narendra Modi led the foundation stone of rupees 3600 crore there is a grand memorial being built, grand statue of warrior, great warrior, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharajji. What is the name given to the memorial? Now, a lot of people criticize this because 3600 crore is a lot of money. And not only that, Maharashtra, out of all the states in India, Maharashtra has the higher debt. 
the debt on maharashtra is 3.6 lakh crore rupees it is the debt it is the uh, money that maharashtra owes to the exchequer so pm modi led the foundation stone of 3600 crore chhatrapati shivaji maharaj statue it will be built in the arabian sea just off cost uh, so uh, the name is given shiv smarak it will be called the shiv smarak which state government removed the restrictions on allowing the women to work in night shift in all the sectors you know this is basically aimed at providing equal opportunity for women so this uh, state had a law that is apart from it information technology and ites these two sectors women cannot work in night shift now this has been done away with such rules should make way because they are obsolete now women can work in any shift in any job they want and this decision has been taken by the government of karnataka which has a congress government chief minister is siddaramaiah united nation security council was in news recently united nation security council has five permanent members so it passed the resolution demanding which country to stop building settlements on occupied palestinian territory this is an important question because this country has been accused of human right violations in palestine the answer is israel so israel the capital is jerusalem and the head of state is netanyahu and the relations between america and, and israel are at an all time low so the answer is israel now israel was building uh, settlements houses more than 6000 houses were built by israel on palestinian land and now unsc has passed a resolution which means those houses will be broken potus which is president of the united states but only till 20th of january after that donald trump will take over so president of the united states barack obama he recently signed a defense policy bill you know that india and us are now strategic defense partners so there is a defense policy bill which was signed by president barack obama of the democratic party in honolulu hawaii and this is to enhance security cooperation with india what is the outlay of this bill that is this defense policy bill will cost how much money it is a bill worth 618 billion dollars reserve bank of india has opened its third banking ombudsman office in north india in which city now ombudsman is a person who is a legal advisor but he works for free that is if you want to launch a complaint you need not go to court you can go to ombudsman file your complaint uh, do your you know grievances and this person will take care of your grievances free of cost so rbi has opened the third banking ombudsman office in north india so previous two offices are at kanpur and chandigarh now the third banking ombudsman office in north india is in dehradun state bank of india has adopted which village in maharashtra to make it cashless in fact not only that state bank of india will make it cashless within 30 days which village is this the name of the village is shirki now dhasai is the first village in maharashtra to become cashless it has already become cashless and budruk is the first village in pune to become cashless shirki will be made cashless by sbi within 30 days drdo which is defense research and development organization has successfully tested our saw it is made in india so what is saw can you expand saw so saw is smart anti air field weapon smart anti air field weapon now there is a player who plays for mohan bagan and also for chennai in fc the football club from tamil nadu and mohan bagan from kolkata so he plays for both he is a striker basically that is his job is to score goals and he has performed exceptionally well this year he has been nominated as the indian player of the year that is all india football federation player of the year what is his name his name is jj lal pekhlua which player won the national title in six red snooker which is a shorter form of the game six red snooker national title well this player should not worry about the national title because he is a 16 time world champion and he recently won 11 you know world billiards championship for the 11th time so easy question from karnataka pankaj adwani who has been made the brand ambassador of luggage company called american tourister and please note american tourister has been owned by samsonite so who has uh, been robbed in as the first indian brand ambassador he is only the first indian person to become the brand ambassador of the prestigious company american tourister his name is virat kohli there is a rumor i just read like uh, one hour back that virat virat kohli and the girlfriend of virat kohli are getting engaged in dehradun can you name the girlfriend of virat kohli 
so these were the best multiple choice questions from the third week sorry fourth week part one and you know in my view the third week had uh, not so good questions but this week had good questions but nothing can match the quality of the first and second week of december if you are writing ibps clerk mains or if you are writing rbi assistant mains or if you are writing central warehousing corporation uh, or nabard exam or any other exam then these questions will be very very beneficial for you please share i take the special effort i make special effort i take double the pain to bring these videos to you in english also although more than 70 percent of the traffic on our channel is because of hindi so please like comment share subscribe thank you